Sheet Index Batch Process. In this training course, for brevity, many sheets were not created or named by you during this course and not updated. Therefore, you will run the Sheet Index Update Model Properties commands against each file that contains sheet models in the project. In order to update all sheets with the correct sheet number and total number of sheets, you will run a MicroStation batch process. In this lesson, you will learn to batch process the sheet index. Begin by opening the file sheet index if it is not already open. To update all the sheets with the correct sheet number and total number of sheets, you will need to run a MicroStation batch process. In order to run a batch process, you must have a DGM file open. Currently, the update sheet model properties in the sheet index will update the models within the active file. However, it will not update each file and model of our workset SR20. This is typically done in the daily process of working with each file and model over time. This project has 101 sheets, and during a normal project workflow, each sheet model will be manually updated on an individual basis, with this being done more than once as sheets are added and removed. In this training course, for brevity, many sheets were not created or named by you during the course and have not been updated. Therefore, you will run the sheet index update sheet model properties command against each file containing sheet models in the project. This can be done by running a key in similar to what is shown here. To run a batch process in the MicroStation Connect edition, from the file, select Tools, followed by Batch Process. A batch process uses a textual command file that is used to process a command on a selection of files. It can process either the default model or all models in the file selection. Those file names, the file paths, and the command file location can be stored in a batch process job file. On the batch process dialog, pick File, followed by Open. Navigate to the data folder of the work set. From here, pick Update Sheet Model Properties SR20.BRPC. Take note that the BRPC file loads the file names, including the path. If for whatever reason your files are not located here, you will need to modify the batch process file. You will also note the location of the command file itself, batch update sr20.txt. To run the command file against the list of files, pick Process. The Files to Process dialog will appear, listing each file and model the command file will run against. Note that this process is running against 17 design files, which contains some 116 sheet models with 101 sheets being used in our sheet index. On average, it will take some 10 to 15 minutes to process, so prepare accordingly. Next, pick Process to begin. Once all the files and models have been processed, select Done. In this lesson, you learn to batch process the sheet index.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.